I'm like, I'm speechless. I, that was the longest 90 minutes of my life. Um, I have been in so many test screenings before, and I've been involved in so many audience discussions, and it's like, it's totally different now that you're in there for a story that you created and that you shepherded into, you know, what you showed tonight. It was crazy, uh, but it was really cool. And I, I'm starting to understand now why directors are so strong-willed. Um, I never, for a while, like for the films I produced, I, I always kind of thought that that was a flaw and that directors were kind of, you know, if they if they were strong-headed, it meant that they weren't willing to compromise. You can say assholes. You can say we're assholes. Well, no, I mean, we're not, well, some are. <laughs> um, <laughs> But it's, it's really cool now having gone through this to realize that the reason they are that way is because of the amount of time that they put into it and, you know, the amount of effort and the amount of heart and life, you know, that you put into something like this. You know, I, I've never, this is the hardest thing I've ever done, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to, you know, to be able to show it to people. So it was nerve-wracking for you to get the audience sort of feedback, would you say? Yeah, well... Not really nerve-wracking, but I was definitely curious to see what they were going to think of it. I think the hardest part of it was actually watching them watch the film. Once it was done, I was cool because more or less they reacted the way that I wanted them to. Mm -hmm. There were some spots, there were definitely some dead spots, and you know, I know them now. I thought I knew them before, but I didn't. Um, so we'll be able to go back and fix the, the, all that stuff. Um, but I mean, the questions and stuff, that that's always fun because it's, you know, sort of like a live performance and you're able to tell stories, you know, from when you're on set and all the things that you did. So that that's that's always cool. Um, I always find the uh, the watching them watch it is the worst thing in the world. Because someone goes to the bathroom and you think they're walking out. Right, right. <laughs> my, it's funny, my cousin's husband actually went to the bathroom like two minutes into the film. Oh. What the hell, man? You're not going to give it that much of a chance? You give on. it a real. You're, you haven't even seen yourself in the film yet. Give it that much, you know? If the cast walks out, then that's a bad sign. That's, yeah, well, he no, he, he came right back in. But, uh, yeah, that was that was funny. Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was so, pretty cool. So, one thing you had that I noticed in the Q&A um, is you had a lot of people making suggestions mm -hmm. on how to fix it. And so when we did the test screening, uh, like, two weeks ago, for Upcountry, one of the things we read, I think, on John August's blog or something like that, yeah. was to listen to, let me see if I can get this quote right, listen to what they didn't like and completely ignore their suggestion to fix it. Does that make sense to you? Because they understand what they don't like, but the process, is, it's completely alien to them. Right. I think that's what, I think that's what it's saying. And it's not their job. Right. That's your job. Right, to take that feedback and figure out a way to make it work. Yep, absolutely. No, I mean there, there's a lot to be said for that, and and I think it's cool, you know, to get an audience like this of people who are not in film to get their opinions on things. And then we're we're planning on screening the film in about a month at uh, at the Rockport Film Workshops up in Maine. Yeah, Rockport. Yeah. Um, so I grew up near there. It's a beautiful place. They're gonna have filmmakers and film teachers. So we get a lot more specific, constructive feedback from them, as opposed to more of the general, you know, how I felt about it, that, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So if we can get both of those types of feedback, I think that'll that'll definitely help us out. That'll be a nice, uh, they'll pair well together. Right. Because it's, right. it's really two different audiences. It's the critics versus the uh, versus the general public. Right. Right. Now, did you see anything like when they, from the comments, was there anything that jumped out at you that immediately you want to change? You know, I haven't read any of the sheets yet. Um, oh, okay. But just from the Q&A? Um, well, I think the idea of taking our character, uh, Brent, who was the rapper, to actually put him in the film performing. Which seemed like a pretty unanimous... And that was one of my things. I was wondering, I assumed you were going to go there. Yeah, I mean, and, and like I said when we were talking about it, we had hoped that we'd be able to do it in production, but, you know, stupid me, I schedule 45 pages on one day. It doesn't really work out that way. So, yeah, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to be able to do something like that. And it may work out in kind of like a, uh, 
reminiscent of The Hangover, you know, where in the in the ending credits of the film, you kind of figure out the rest of the story. So that that could work. That could work, yeah. It could be kind of neat, and it, and it would definitely, you know, the audience would love it, I'm sure. Because it's a nice little moment where you figure that out. I'm glad you feel that way. That's cool. I had another question, and I totally forgot what it was. Uh, shit. <laughs> it was a really good question, too. What kind of beer do we have at the house? That's a good question. Let's go with that. Uh, Rolling Rock, PBR. Uh, this isn't, beer. it's not beer, but it's good. It's coconut rum and Grey Goose. Oh, I like Grey Goose. We have lots of Grey Goose. Ooh, Grey Goose. And we nice. have beer pong table. There you go. Built out of a uh, piece of plywood, actually. Oh, look at that. Yep. So would you like, because there was a discussion recently online, it was like, it seemed to be a theme for like a couple days, on the test screening. Mm -hmm. And there's people who won't test screen. And I mean, I don't really get that. Mm. What would you what would you say, having done a first test screening as a director, yep. what, what, what would you say to that? I think a test screening is a vital part of making your film. Because if you're completing your project and you're not getting a reaction from anyone you're making a film that only pleases yourself and you know if you're an auteur that's what you do I guess but I don't think film should be made in that way I, I think film is a communal experience and I think the more that you incorporate the community you know in the making of the film the better a project you're going to get because you're going to you're just going to get more viewpoints and I also think and this is a personal thing I think filmmakers who don't like the test screen it seems to me like it's a bit of insecurity because you're not that confident in your work oh you know, totally that's that that's always been my two cents on it I, and it never bothers me to show work at any stage you know because I know it's not done so I, I don't take anything personally you know I, tonight wasn't taking it personally it was just the first time I'd ever been through it so I was really nervous mm -hmm. but I, you know I never I never took any of the comments personally you know if you listen with an open mind you know what well, a good idea can come from anywhere you know so the, the hope is that can be part of that process where you can find good ideas my my approach is sort of because this is the upcountry was the first film I ever test screened mm -hmm. and like a really test screened other than just like showing it to the cast and crew and stuff right my thinking is because I'm an auteur and I'm I'm big on the auteur thing, mm -hmm. but like for example with the the three XL performance, mm -hmm. everybody thinks that that he should perform, and even if you want to be all Godard and say, <laughs> "Fuck you, audience, I'm not going to do that," you it at least helpful for you to know that going in that that's going to be, come up. Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, and if and if something, if a comment like that is so counter to your vision to the film, then you know, to to get feedback is, is one thing. To re, to respond to it in the work is something else. Mm -hmm. So you know, it, that that wouldn't bother me if if an, if an entire audience said to me, you know, I think you should have more bananas in your movie. And well, you should. Well, every film should have more bananas. Um, the. If having you know bananas in your film is completely anathema to what you want to do for your project, if it's completely against the theme of your work, this is a horrible analogy. Um, but I think it's a pretty good one. <laughs> the the whole idea is you know you're you're getting other ideas. That's the point of it. And whether or not you choose to use them, of course, is up to you. But it, to me, it's always been. You know, it's always a smarter idea to get a bigger pile of things, of suggestions, of, you know, possible ways to do things, because ultimately it's your decision anyway. Sure. So why not pick from a bigger pool? You know, that's, that's always been my thought. And if nothing else, you built some buzz for your film tonight. I mean, you sold out a rough cut screening. And they opened up another theater. <laughs> and you sold that out. <laughs> That was pretty crazy. It's like I told Gary, I can't get my parents to come to a rough cut screening. <laughs> you got the whole damn city of Hartford. Well, I'll I should you. note that they will come. It's just a funnier joke that way. <laughs> In case they watch this and call me. <laughs> no, it was great. It was really cool. Um, you know, my, we always wanted the city to be a big part of the making of the film, and it will continue to be. And, you know, 
hopefully people will start talking about it. You know, hopefully someone important, I don't know who that would be, will hear about it somewhere down the line and take an interest in it and help all of us get to whatever our next step is. You know, stuff like this offers the opportunity for that.